thank you for joining uh, Exploring Your Soulscape. And I know that everybody's always a little slow about getting on line, especially when it's a pseudo holiday. So I want to really thank each and every one of you that are here right now. And uh, what I like to do is always create sacred space before we start. It helps land our it helps land us here now. So, and you can join me in this if you like. If you have a candle, go ahead and light a candle. And the beautiful way about coming into sacred space is you do something that's relatively the same every time. And it's kind of like a way of getting your senses and your body engaged that you're coming into this space that's for you and for you only. So lighting a candle is always important. And then I like to light some sage or some incense or anything. Again, it's something that's engaging my sense of smell now instead of just what I see. And the beauty of sage and certain incenses is it also kind of clears off whatever you don't need to hold on to right now. <laughs> and guess what? I'm sure we all have a little bit of that. Okay. And just take a moment and just breathe into your body. The soulscape experience is uh, an embodied practice, which means we keep coming back to our body over and over again. So it's always good just to check in. How do you feel right now? Just notice, no judgments, just how do you feel right now? Great. So uh, a little technical things. I am recording this and um, I have your sound off and your videos off. Um, and that just allows for everybody's privacy. So uh, if at any point you want to ask a question, if you look to the bottom of your screen, you'll see something that says chat and you can go ahead and ask a question right there. Okay. Hmm. So first, let's acknowledge that you've taken time for yourself in the middle of a Friday afternoon, in the middle of a holiday day, uh, if you're in the US, you know, so there's a lot of things to be grateful for. And one is that you took the opportunity to take care of you for a little while. So just let that sink in for a little bit. The soulscape process is a healing journey, a healing journey of coming back to you. Now, I believe that we are all on a healing journey, uh, whether we know it or not. And some of us are bringing a lot of attention and intention to it. And some of us are having just little moments of insight as we go through our life. And so this process will help you wherever you are on your spiritual journey. But make no mistakes, this is a creative healing journey of coming back to yourself. We use in the Soulscape process the spiritual and creative tools that speak the sacred language of your soul. So closed eye processes such as meditation, shamanic uh, journeying, guided visualizations, and then the creative practices of movement, of 
automatic writing or free flow writing and of intuitive creation. Because these are all things that keep you, that shift you into an internal experience, into your internal landscape or your internal, um, your internal soulscape. And so anytime we close our eyes, we get insight from the inside. Anytime that we soften our eyes, we drop into our heart space. And anytime we're really looking, we're in our mind, you know? And so we need both, you know, you need to know how to drive your car. You need to pay, open your eyes and pay attention. But we also, to find balance in our lives, need to come back to our heart and our soul. So the creative tools and the spiritual tools that speak the sacred language of your soul reawaken or expand your ability to use your intuition, to use your creative wisdom, and to honestly just learn to be more and more comfortable in our skin. Over the years of being a healer, which is almost over 30 years at this point, what I've realized what healing really is, is being okay with who you are. Not settling for what you think other people think you are or what you think you've been told that you, you know, the box that you get put in, but to accept this amazing being that is inside you and to have all of you present. So you're not just sticking the parts that you don't like about yourself off to the side, you're bringing all of you with you. And that is what brings joy. That is what brings love and trust and healing and balance and all these things that we're striving for. It's coming back to ourselves and saying, hey, this is me. I like me and that's just the way it is. So that's the healing journey in a nutshell, I guess. But it's really about being comfortable in your own skin, really saying, okay, this is where I am today at this moment, and I'm okay with it. And, you know, take a moment, let, let, really let that resonate through your body. I am really okay with where I am in this moment. Yeah. And so today what I like to do is take you through a soulscape journey process, a soulscape experience. So you can get a sense of how creative healing or how powerful creative healing is. And then, you know, you can take what what I what you get today and add it to your practice or go forward with it. Um, this may ignite something in you, and that's fantastic. Like, take it, use it, come back to yourself, and, you know, go on your healing journey. You know, I do believe that we can do healing journeys on our own. I also think it's, it's important to take time out of our lives to do a healing journey. And that's why I do uh, online retreats and in-person retreats. And I'll tell you about the five-day Kripala retreat that's coming up in January uh, for those of you who are looking for, you know, a deep dive inward. But more about that later. So today, we're going to explore some of the tools of moving, writing, drawing, to kind of look inward, to find some ways to connect with your intuition, with your creative wisdom. Um, we'll do this by writing, by actually doing some movement, and by drawing today. And in the future, you can actually do this on a tablet. I have an iPad with an app called Sketches. And sometimes when I don't have the time or the ability to pull out a whole bunch of pencils and paper and paint, I use my iPad. So there's many ways in. Hmm. So just a reminder of those of you who are joining us, um, I'm going to keep 
you will mute it, um, audio and video, but you can go ahead and write any questions that you like on the chat, which is at the bottom of your screen. Hmm. Okay, so the Soulscape process is a body-centered process. It's an embodied process, which means we come to our body for information because it is here, right here, because we are spirits and body, if you will. You know, it is the body that informs us. We know that by trusting our intuition, by trusting our heart, by coming into any practice that brings us back here. You know, because we can't go forward unless we take our bodies with us. And part of the, in, the embodied process and why this is so important is when you come back to your body, right? Not only do you have clearer access to your intuition, to um, your heart wisdom, um, to your kind of gut wisdom, which is a little bit of all of that, but you also have the ability to be grounded on this earth in your process. And the opposite of that would be is when, when we get stressed, um, there may be an expression that we say that we are beside ourselves or that you feel like you're here, but you're thinking over here, right? And so the part of the healing journey is to kind of bring yourself back into your body, to be embodied, to be empowered in yourself. And that happens with coming back into your body white and sorry battling this happens when you come back to using all the skills that you have in your body and the other thing that's really important about coming into your body and listening to yourself is you become your own authority for you so in in a culture where we have been trained to look outside ourselves for um, approval, for yeses and nos, for uh, fitting in, all of those things, we kind of start we we kind of start losing our internal process, our internal power, you know, and that shows up in our world where we start to wanting to get a lot of degrees, or we start kind of getting attached to other people, or we look outside ourselves continuously for information. So when you're working with your body uh, in intuitive practice that the Soulscape journey takes you through, you actually start to become your own self-authority. It's great to run ideas off with friends and people that you trust, people that don't have a different agenda for you, but it's also important to really learn to trust your heart, to listen to your soul, and to know your intuition. And so the intuitive process takes you back to that skill set. So there's a lot of things happening all at the same time. And so I know this sounds like a whole bunch for an hour, uh, an hour class that we're doing right now, but trust me, you know, this is the starting process. I know some of you are here saying, yeah, I know this and I wanna go deeper. And so this is a way to go deeper. I also recommend that you come together as a community and do this work because there's always more power in a community. Hence why I do workshops and retreats online and in person because there is a certain synergy in a group. Okay, so why don't we just start coming back into our body? You, you all okay right now? No questions? Okay. So just a few guidelines to make this experience as powerful as possible for you. My recommendation is you stay with, a so with soft eyes. So as I talked about earlier, when you're kind of looking and thinking and interpreting, you're really looking at things. You're in a very linear, um, timeline, if you will, as well. You're kind of saying, okay, if I do this, then this happens, or I'm just kind of 
trying, trying, there's the cue right there. When you're working with your intuition and your body, there is no trying. It's all about allowing and being. When you find yourself saying trying, which I do a lot, trying really means that you're trying to think your way through things. This process is a non-thinking process. The easiest way to do that is to come into your heart. And the easiest way to come into your heart is to allow your eyes to be closed or soft. When your eyes are soft, you automatically drop into your heart space. So just take a moment, allow yourself to just breathe into your heart space. Allow your eyes to soften, to almost become unfocused and soft. And just feel what that does to your body. So as we go through this creative experience, I'm gonna also invite you just to follow what's in front of you. Be in the moment, right? One mark at a time, one word at a time. Don't judge, okay? This is a non-judgmental place. You can pick that up when we're done our call today. Stay in the soft, trusting, curious, safe place that coming into your heart allows you to be. Our soul speaks to us via our unconsciousness because our mind is out of the way. So once your mind is out of your way, you can connect to your internal guides and your soul, your internal guides, your soul, your higher spirit, whatever word that is for you, that's that internal compass of truth for you. That's the place that we're accessing today. That's the place that will allow you to follow a path of being the best possible expression of you. Okay, any questions? Okay, beautiful. So first, let's make sure that you're in a space where you're not going to be disturbed. So, um, you know, make sure your door is shut, make sure no family members are going to come in and interrupt your process. Because, you know, part of learning to listen to yourself is also creating space for yourself. It's also about having the time and space to expand. You know, we all know this, when we get a free hour, you can feel your energy field expanding. So when you create some time for yourself, you're already dropping into your heart space and you're allowing for some space for growth, for change, for expansion, for just finding the joy that's called you back. Okay, um, and then if you have some paper, and maybe a pencil, a pen, or a crown, or three things that have different thicknesses or textures. Just have those out as well and put all those supplies just off to the side. And let's start the process. So go ahead and stand or sit or lie down, whatever works for you. And just allow your attention to come to your breath and just invite your breath to come into your body. Doesn't have to land anywhere in particular. You're just bringing your awareness to your inspiration, your breath, and how that is just filling up and expanding a little bit of space in your body. Notice what areas in your body are really taking in that breath, are moving with the breath, and what parts feel more contracted. 
You're just noticing. You're not necessarily judging it or doing anything with it. You're just noticing. And feel where your body is touching the earth as well. Let's pull in the energy of mother nature, of the earth, of her beautiful grounding qualities to help support us. So you are being supported by this community that's present with us now, this community that's listening to this in other times, and by the earth. So feel that container that's being created, that's being extended from your space right now. Hmm. And now whether you're sitting or lying down or standing, begin to notice what is around you. And you could do that by actually beginning to move your body a little bit, kind of moving into the space around you. And please feel free to get up and start moving throughout the room that you're in. Or if you're comfortable doing small micro movements, that's all perfect as well. Kind of allow your body to explore the space that you are inhabiting. All the while bringing your breath into your body and out of your body and feeling the support of the earth. How much space do you take up in the room that you're in? Now, as you are moving through your room, allowing your energy, your inner subtle energy to be expanding through the room as well, shift your awareness to what's inside you, to the movement of your body, to the movement of your blood or your nervous system, your chakras, your energy. Just bring your awareness inside. And then begin to ask your body, what is it that I need to know right now? And take the very first thing that comes into your head and allow that phrase, that word, that whatever just popped into your head to begin to move your body. So now you're holding two points of focus, the room around you, your eyes are soft, you're in your heart. You're allowing this particular thing that you've just received, what is it that you need right now? What is that feeling inside you that wants movement, that wants attention? And let that begin to move and express movement. Micro movements or big movements or something in between. Doesn't matter what it is. Allow your body to start moving what needs to be expressed. What is it that you need right now? And allow that to begin to move your body. 
Allow it to expand, to have a voice. Please invite your voice to take hold if it wants to sing or make a sound. Allow what this is to have the fullest physical expression right now. And if you feel that your mind is jumping in, go back to the feeling. Keep moving through the room. Keep allowing this thing that is always changing because it's expanding, it's moving. This is another way that your soul is allowing you to move what potentially is blocked, to move what really wants to be expressed. We don't have a story for that. We're just allowing the movement to flow. your mind kicks in, come back to your heart. If you find that you're getting bored, come back to your body. There is so much that your being wants to share with you. And the first step is by movement. And if you feel like you're touching something that gets uncomfortable, see if you could bring a little intention, a little breath to that particular area, perhaps even put your hand on that spot and really feel into that spot and say, what is it that I need to know right now? What expression do you have right now that wants to be moved, opened, shared with my consciousness. You can do this movement with music. My only recommendation is music has its own energy, its own expression. And sometimes it could take you out of what's right here. So what is that internal music that is guiding your soul's truth telling right now.
So now with your awareness on this movement, get closer to that piece of paper that you're working, that you have, and those pencils, papers, pens, whatever you have there, and ask that place, ask that thing that wants to be shared, share, that is being shared with you right now. What is the expression if you take it now onto the paper? So you are drawing this expression that you've been moving. You're bringing it a little bit further out into the world onto paper. So this is the fine line of keeping your eyes soft, of staying in your heart space when you're doing this. Allow your um, marks, your whatever you're writing or drawing to really mirror what you're feeling inside. Let this movement begin to get expressed onto paper. Stay in the flow. It may get fast for a minute. It may get really slow. It may get really loud or really soft. We're energy beings. This is all going to ebb and flow as your being starts to talk to you, as your soul finds the way through the chaos of the mind back to the stillness of your heart through movement, through expression, in this case, creative expression. Let your body and your soul intuition and your creative muse now to lead this process with color, with shape, with expression onto paper. Don't guide it. Don't think you know what this is. The beauty of your soul's language is that it comes up from the unconscious. And only later on, potentially, does your mind catch on. This is the deep current that runs through the ocean, if you will, or similar to the deep current of the ocean. We're not looking at the waves on top, but we're feeling the deep internal movement of our soul. So let your being inform the drawing. And know that what you're drawing is also informing what you're feeling. So what you're feeling may shift and then what you're feeling may shift your drawing. So you're in a, you're in a dance of, of holding space for your internal soulscape and your external soulscape. So you're ebbing and weaving in between the two, mirroring each other, informing each other. What is going on inside you is being reflected in the drawing. And the drawing is reflecting, informing, what's going on inside you. 
So be with that. If you find that your breath is getting tight or shallow, bring, just pause for a moment, come back into your heart space. Breathe and go back to that feeling. What is it that you need to know right now? For some of you, your soul will speak to you quickly. For some of you, your soul will speak to you slowly, quietly. It's about trust. Trust about learning to listen to what your truth is. Trust in knowing that what your soul has to say is, is right and powerful for you. It's not always unicorns and fairy tales. Sometimes it can be deep and tender things that come up. And that's okay, because they're all part of you. Wholeness is having all of you with you, having all of your vitality, all of your essence with you. What is it that you need to know right now? You can draw and move your body and sing or make sound. Whatever feels right for you. Don't worry about what you're drawing that it has to look like anything. You're drawing your energy. So it can be an experience of lines and shades and scribbles. And that's a beautiful thing because you're expressing you in an energetic way. So I'm going to allow a little bit more space, maybe five more minutes for you to be here with yourself. Allowing your embodied creative practice to show up however it wants to for you.
Keep breathing, keep drawing, keep feeling. Now go ahead and bring this um, drawing experience to a close. Check in with your body. How do you feel now? Just notice what feels expanded, what is possibly tighter, anything. And again, don't judge it, just notice. And I'd like to invite you to spend a few minutes going ahead and writing, a down, writing down what you experienced. And again, we're, we're gonna keep this in the embodied practice mode. And so just start with some words. They don't have to be full sentences. It doesn't even have to make sense. So you're gonna almost do what some people call automatic writing. I'm gonna do some free flow writing. You can do that right on your drawing or on a separate sheet of paper. But come back to your body, to your heart, to your soul, to that thing. What is it that you need to know right now? And start the conversation with what I need to know right now is, and just let it flow from your unconscious, from your soul out onto the paper. And I'm going to give you a few minutes to do that. Just let whatever wants to come out, come out. And again, if you need to move your body while you're doing this, do it. Is there one more thing that wants to come out? This is all about trust. Trusting the information that comes from your heart is your truth. Trusting that your gut, your intuition is how your soul speaks to you. may not make sense right now, but what you're doing is unblocking, clearing, activating your soul's truth, your spiritual journey back to yourself.
Hmm. And then when you're ready, you can um, bring this to a close. Obviously, you can keep doing this over and over and over again. But I want us, as we open the container, I want to start um, creating a container where you have more safety for yourself. And the best way to do that is self-care. And self-care for the soulscape process is this. You just received a gift. It may still be an energetic whisper in your being, or it may have surfaced up to the unconsciousness. I sometimes think that this work is like taking a flashlight in a dark room and shining it on something and saying, oh, oh my goodness, there you are. You know, and it's like you shine a light on something and then it comes to consciousness. And so that is what's happening here. So self-care is, do you want to share this experience with your nearest and dearest? You may not want to. You have to honor what is right for you. I think of this work like a journal process or like a diary where, you know, it has a little lock. Remember those diaries with locks on them? But this is a place where you are bringing these beautiful, relevant parts of yourself out onto paper, out into the world, into consciousness. So do you want to share them or not? That's up to you to take care of. That's up to you to make that choice. So if somebody says, hey, how was that class? You could say, you know, it was amazing or it was however you experienced it. But, um, yeah, choose carefully who you allow, who you share your soul's truth with. Because um, a lot of us have been raised where we go, oh, I feel, I dream, I desire, and something happens where we get shut down. And this is not the time for that anymore. We need to be fully embodied with ourselves. And this is the beginning process or the continuing process. So share it or not share it. But what I'd like you to do now is say out loud in your room and, remind, and to remind you that your audio is off, but speak that gift that you received out loud. I mean, I think there's, there's an importance in witnessing, even if you're witnessing for yourself. So what I needed to know right now is, what I received is, and say it out loud. Feel it reverberate in your body, in the energy around you and inside you. And in this container, of the sacred space that we're in now. You may want to keep this drawing and hold it in your heart throughout the day or throughout the weekend. I sometimes like to take pictures of um, a drawing or part of a drawing that is, that kind of woke something up in me and I actually make them um, my uh, screensaver on my phone. So every time I turn my phone on, there it is. It's another way of working with technology and your intuition. Hmm. So if, if this really kind of resonated with you on some level, I want to let you know that in January, January 12th to 17th, I'll be doing a five-day retreat at Kripala, which is in Massachusetts. And Kripala is what, uh, here. There we go. Kripala is an amazing yoga and retreat center in uh, Western Massachusetts, and it. Massachusetts, can't get it out, right? 
But the beauty of Massachusetts is it's a, it's a container. Kupala is a container for an expression of yourself. And I'll be doing this retreat for five days up there in January. And it's a week long of a carefully crafted journey to go within, to explore, to unblock, to befriend and bring back your essence. You know, and it's a whole journey so that you can live your soul-filled, joy-filled life. So whether you want to discover your life's purpose or find a way to go within deeper, the Soulscape practice, this workshop, is a really beautiful way for you to continue your spiritual journey. And so what I like to offer you that if you, and don't worry, I'm gonna send this to you in an email so you won't be so distracted, right? Or out of, you won't think too much about writing this down. But if you sign up for the Kripala retreat by January 5th, what I'd like you to do is send me your receipt, you can email me your receipt for Kripala and I will send you a free online class called Heart to Heart. So it's a, my little thank you gift for saying, hey, here's something that you could do now. It's a downloadable class. You could do it over and over again for the rest of your life. But it's, um, it's my gift and thank you for joining me at Kripala. But like I said, I'll go ahead and send you that information in a little while. But until then, I want to thank you for joining this workshop. And again, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me. I'd be happy to answer any questions that have arised. Um, pay attention to your daydreams, to your night dreams, because you have worked with your soul. You have said to your being, I'm listening. My heart is soft. And I'm going to allow the flow of what you have to share with me to come through. That builds your intuition. That unblocks limitations that are keeping you from being your best, highest, most beautiful self. So you've explored, you've inquired today, you have touched some deep, powerful um, tools that you have inside you. And you have access to listening to your soul and exploring your soul see, exploring your soulscape. And that, I believe, is how we find joy, finding joy in our inner power and our inner voice. <sighs> so I thank you very much for um, spending some time with me. I hope you have a really beautiful day. And be oh so loving and gentle to yourself. Thank you so much. Mwah.